civil disobedience. <laughs> it started young with me. It occurred to me one day in fifth grade that homework was wrong. It was just a morally bankrupt concept. Remember, people that worked for a living were not expected to continue working when they got home. That's what the union guys been fighting about for over 100 years. Where was the union when I needed them? I just quit doing it anyhow, on my own. My mom appreciated the concept, just not the conclusion. And so she took me out of that graduate school I was in, put me in one of these progressive schools the next day so I could you know, progress. <laughs> I walked in that morning, all the kids were standing up and singing my dad's song, Miss Manny John. I was the only one there that didn't know the words. <laughs> Nobody told me that stuff was famous outside our house. When you're a kid, you don't think of stuff like that. So I ran home at the end of the day, tears in my eyes, and I told my father what had happened. And he took me out in the backyard. He made me bring in this little guitar he had given me on my fifth birthday, which I still have. And he showed me how to play it, you know, showed me the chords and stuff. When I had that much done, he taught me the words. When I had the words done, he taught me some verses that wasn't in the school book version. So when I went back the next day, I went back armed. And I've been singing the song ever since. I'm sure if my father had lived this long, if he'd been 102, whatever it is now, it'd be him, and if he had the energy, he'd be out doing the same things he was doing back then. Out in the streets, occupying places, all young people, trying to make the world a little more fair, a little more just, something like that. He'd be out arguing politics of one kind or another out there on the street with everybody. He loved the idea of people out there in the street arguing back and forth about one thing or another. And if the other side wasn't loud enough, he'd go over and join them and start yelling. I mean, it was more important to him to say what was on your mind, regardless of whether he was right or wrong about it, than it was to sit home and say nothing. Sometimes it's just better to plain, plain to, sometimes it's plain better to be wrong than to say nothing at all. Because when people start arguing back and forth, you can change your mind on something. The world moves on, you know. But if you sit home and don't say anything, nothing happens. And we're getting a little used to that here, but I think that's beginning to change. I'm sure you can throw it at that, you know. So I will leave you tonight with the last verse of this song that I learned in the backyard when I was a little kid. I'm glad I'm glad we're at the last verse here. I'm losing my voice at this point. <laughs> We've been singing too much. But it's been a pleasure to be here. Let me leave you with this one here, this thought here. Nobody living can never stop me as I go on my freedom highway. Nobody living can make me turn back. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my